subcommittee has called Solari Enterprises Furball to the stand and they want to know why he's been conducting religious hatred against Melton. Christian in a wheelchair. And he's not being cooperative. And the senator just outright asked him, we know you're a Muslim company, and we know you're harassing that Christian in a wheelchair. We want to know if you got, aside from actively, you can reach him by phone, when else will my family's lifeline not be allowed to work? The center holds up his phone because of what you're an active part in. And do you have connections to ISIS, Taliban, Saudi Arabian, dangerous royals? Do you have that? And he yeah, invokes the Fifth Amendment. Jared is a young Mormon cult member. He's not on his mission. He decided instead to be a part of organized crime with his Muslim brothers from abroad, be treasonous as well. And he's walking out of that ugly Ascent Temple. They insist that, the devil insists they spend three long hours worshiping him and his life. And Jake's there, he honks. And apparently he's been getting a whole lot of honks because he just flies off the handle, Jared does, and cusses out Jake. Jacob walks over and he says, why'd you do that? Why, why are you doing that to us? And he shows him his phone. He says, this is a website with 100 and growing of your harassment project all across America. Of course, it's on flash drive as well. But based in uh, Utah with their Muslim brothers from abroad, we're sending a message. We're keeping an eye on you. We don't like what you're doing harassing a Christian in a wheelchair, me, for example, among many other harassment projects across the country. And he sees another one of those guys, he's going to hit the horn. He's got that, uh, those sights set for those folks who are part of organized crime, fraud, and treason. He goes by their houses to home. He should too. Call him 24 so Get them screaming out what else they're doing besides. Active in your families. Hijack lifelines. Bubba and Lance are back from a hunting trip. They're members of the NRA. Proud members. you, you got good reason to be proud. And uh, they see some folks praying to the 9-11 Muslim devil down below. I don't know why that's not focusing. And yes, Mormon cult perverts case in neighborhoods when the only ones home are the kids after school. So they pick up truck them. And, uh, yes, they wait until the parents get home so they can have a word with those folks in bed with uh, California's LAPD and other law enforcement county and state organizations on site today harassing over the top. They call them up. The parents tell them, get home, have a word with them, and we'll call up California's law enforcement to a man to a woman active in America's hijack weapons and ask them why are they an active part in that? That's compromising our security as a nation. What's your part in that? Get them on speakerphone. They're very entitled, so get them screaming. Post. A Melton. I look good against clouds. I can make you look good against clouds. But you gotta come see me in person. You look for my work at your bed bars, parties, military bases, college campuses, churches. And put some on your phone. Get a nice high gigabyte card. And you have a whole bunch of my work as graphic card photos. Well, I'm not making any money as a graphic artist. This is our at and livelihood. Make that video of whatever you get when you don't get me. 424-229-4140. Make that video. Post that video. Then come see me in person.
tell me what you want your image to look like. Bring your favorite flowers. I'll turn them into favorite flowers. Never have to water them again. Print them out a thousand times. Or maybe you, you and your car, your friends. It's up to you. But make that video of your hijack call to me right now. 424-229-4140. Uh, one flight 93 check calling over a decade of asking. Get AT&T's bloody handed phone gate on video. Time to stamp on your phone. My number dial. Randall Stevenson. CEO of AT&T. He gets his hands bloody placing cowardly Hussein's in her White House. Oh, it's boring, isn't it? If you're trying to call up folks and tell them who they should vote for or who they should not vote for, and you get that uh, phone ringing. Error message. Bitch signal. Yeah, censorship, especially Chinese censorship, is often boring. Get it on video, though, for the Senate subcommittee. Senate subcommittees are boring, too, aren't they? You got my number and the date and the time in your video. Randall gets his hands even bloodier altering phone records once he hijacked pipelines. Other factories are addressing true believers all across America. He tells them as he hands out the numbers of all Mormon cult folks. Particularly the librarians, the doctors, the lawyers, the folks incredibly active in America's hijack lifelines with their Muslim brothers from overseas. He hands it out, he says, it's your duty as a Christian to find out what these folks are doing Compromise of security as a nation, as individuals. And he hands out those numbers and yes, call. Park those noisemakers outside those homes. Find out what these dangerous Mormon cult fanatics are doing before they are a yeah, a statewide, a countrywide Jonestown. So Abdul Latif. Cowardly Hussein Placer, hater of saints and truth, is uh, has jetted off to Saudi Arabia in a Saudi palace, and he runs into Sony Ta, a Chinese doctor, in the way of uh, truth as well as medical research, and says hi. Uh, and sure, sure enough, oh, there you are. There comes Osama bin Laden, Hussein's dad, and they both say hi for him. And Abdul Latif says, Don't worry, your son's going to fake your death with those cowardly seals. Remember to make that video of America's Hijack Lifelines post. Don't let that happen again. So, uh, some uh, bleeding heart folks are picking some stuff up. It's, uh, it's someone who's going to open up a uh, museum for those poor, you know, Japanese folks interred during, you know, putting camps during World War Two and said, you sure you want this stuff? And they said, oh yeah. And they opened it up, hadn't been seen for half a century at least. And of course it's plans for Pearl Harbor in one of those and strategic uh, places all across America that they had been uh, doing that uh, foreign folks on American soil like the Muslims are today. And uh, yeah, she, she'll be hiding that kind of stuff because she uh, hates truth, but you get that truth out. See a helicopter? 
911, flight 93, check your posting five. Trying to call me Mel. Want to know why America's lifelines are hijacked as you do? Not one flight 93 check call in over a decade of asking. No certified mail, no non certified mail. No FedEx, no UPS. Gonna mail me something, make a video first, and use those GPS things. If it's got my address, it's gonna be stolen. Plus, of course, it's a bill. Yes, it's what placed Carol Lee Hussein in our White House right after we got attacked by a whole lot of Carol Lee Husseins. And yes, I see these folks all the time involved in America's high-tech lifelines. Call them on that. And try to call me with them on speakerphone. Post. Post and repost this image as well. He's kind of got a little resemblance to Abdul Latif. Not the dog with the tail wagon there or whatever that is. But the guy over there by the uh, little gray Humvee, military reference, gray reference, Mormon cult reference. Military Mormon Muslim Jim I'm also getting. Remember, that's the one that was uh, jetting off, Muslim cleric jetting off to Saudi Arabia just before they placed a character Hussein in our White House to dishonor our democracy. Abdul Latif. Brady Bond event stop on the computer so I can't process in my videos, my parable videos. How does that affect you? Yes, uh, you tried to call me that your family's lifeline not working and this bitch here is active part in it. You call her on that. 337-309-9776. Try to call me. You get her screaming out what else she's doing. Do it in person too. Her and her gay husband Samuel Lynn Bond. What else he's doing to compromise the security of our nation other than an active part in America's hijacked lifelines and fraud of epic proportions? Mustafa is a Muslim California cop and he's doing his favorite thing. It's Sunday and he's hassling folks going to churches, Christian. He's also an active part in America's hijacked lifelines among other things. And uh, someone, you know, asked him, why, why are California's law enforcement so openly in bed with dangerous folks compromising our security with easily documented censorship? It's more than our AT&T livelihoods, guys. You call them up to a man, to a woman. You ask them, why are you letting Mormon cult perverts and their Muslim cult brothers, dangerous brothers from overseas in Utah and also on payroll? Top uh, police departments. Why are you letting them bitch slap you? When else will our phones not be allowed to work because of what you're a part of? We're in Utah. And a whole lot of Mormon cult princesses are taking a class on penmanship, note writing. And the teacher looks at one of them and she says, Oh, this is way too good penmanship. They're never going to believe that you are not a Mormon. And yes, elsewhere in the U.S. the cops are talking to mom and dad and they show them a note. Is this your daughter? Right here and the note reads You won't let me do anything. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. And mom bursts into tears. He says, oh yeah, that's her. They'll mark it off as a runaway. What the Mormon casing ends with. He's addressing the college crowd. He'll be addressing the church crowd. Another one. Tomorrow. And he has those documentaries. These are the Mormon cult fanatics. Shoveled from Utah. 
to Los Angeles, these particular ones, points out where they're shuttled from, what they do, they harass a Christian in a wheelchair, me, and he points that out, he makes a nice documentary video of each one for all those good Americans across America to do more than just 9-11 fight 93 check. You can't reach me by phone. You have no idea when else your phone won't be allowed to work. He's got the addresses. Park noise makers outside their homes. Get them screaming out these particular Utahians what they're doing besides harassing a Christian in a wheelchair for the past decade plus. It's official. It's Sunday, but I guess they pray every day. That's what AT&T uses in your neck of the woods. It's certainly not for safety. It's a closed parking lot. They can turn that off, but they choose to harass Christian in a wheelchair. And about eight other apartment complexes. See that baby trail? Make a video of America's Hijack Lifelines and tell everyone about that. Whenever you hear the Muslims praying to the 9-11 devil down below noise, that's AT&T's Randall Stevenson telling you He's an active part in cowardly Hussein placing and harassment techniques all across America. You call him on it. All 150 million subscribers, you can't reach me right now. 424-229-4140. You have no idea when else your phone won't be allowed to work. So get on video. Your hijack call to me. Certify the mail. Make the video as well. Use those GPS things to find America's stolen mail warehouses. And tell everyone about that 9-11 Muslim devil down below praying to it. No ways. Some Mormon cult princesses get some tips from some Muslims telling them about this little old lady who's recently widowed. Her kids live across the country. And so they rush on over. The cult princesses do. Push their way into that grandmother's home. They read to her from the cartoon book of Mormon. And of course they say that disrespectful prayer, our Heavenly Father, please don't let any of our Mormon cult perverts or Muslim brothers get caught a raping or a stealing. In Jesus' name we disrespectfully pray. And that's when Grandma hits that couch horn underneath her couch. Yeah, they... Uh, Head for the thrones. Moore, LAPD chief, is having a press conference, and a whole lot of folks behind him are holding up posters, maybe even just pages or four by sixes. My work's very distinctive. They're holding up posters, and they're asking him questions like, "Why are you letting the Mormon cult pervert?" from Utah bitch slap you and Los Angeles with this parade of snot nose courtesy of their state troopers Utah's in and out of underneath the Christian in a wheelchair Melton some called her Mary as well why are you letting them do that and Michael Moore says oh, uh, it's part of my pact with the devil remember to make that video Trying to call me Melton in front of all California cowardly cops. And I'm uploading my joint parables for last month, July 2019, to youtube.com slash DNFD series. And yes, I often hear that's my call log videos, everything on this phone making this video. For the past half a year, there's for, oh, that's actually about a year. So if you've tried to call me, and especially if you've talked to folks, because I, from the patio over there at Teague Terrace here, Solari Enterprises, Teague Terrace in the Eagle Rock, 4260 Eagle Rock Boulevard, apartment 409, I always, the ones of the moment, from Utah, gosh darn heck, folks, talking about all the calls they're getting for this topic or that topic or this or that the other more calls than usual that kind of thing whether it's fed sponsored utah sponsored california sponsored or military treasonous sponsored you save that video of your call 
whatever boring thing you get when you don't get me or if you get yes those folks from Utah you save it for the Senate subcommittee kind of thing hell yeah here's the uh, the image that has these folks going just up the wall lately not one comment on it dangerous censorship in America make that video if you had that call to me right now and yes make a video of any the email you send me it's going to be stolen use those GPS things to find out who what particular treasonous group is conducting that harassment uh, that treasonous stuff and harassing a Christian in a wheelchair with their Muslim hatred their non-Christian hatred oh the nice lady who cleans and does my laundry brought some flowers over I've been taking some photos hope to have some new stuff to design imagery with saints and otherwise and yes I'm I'm holding the camera against the table as I make this video and I've noticed that hasn't stopped literally I will have the, the camera dead still and the I call them Chinese with their Mormon cult folks on hand just like the Lori folks have to be obvious but we'll have it shaken and my hand will shake every once in a while it's part of growing a new body but uh, yeah make that video of your hijack call to me come see me in person tell me what you think of our at and livelihoods and at and live lines and if you see what I've heard often lately Mormon cult impersonators with or without hair on their head shaking up the storm it's dead it's justice for them look for all those devil's people and their Muslim brothers praying to that 9-11 devil down below look for them to have those very obvious consequences and excuse their worrying about that and anger about that as they alter my videos Jason is a Mormon cult cop and he's at uh, take a pick of California's folks praying to the 9-11 devil down below and hiding behind authority to do that and he gets another call another text another email folks sending him that praying to the 9-11 devil down below 4x6 photo the image the 8x10 it's easily demonstrated censorship uh, send Michael Moore and all top cops of California that as well and ask him why are you harassing a Christian in a wheelchair actively a part of that get their reaction you post include a few generals but he just goes hawk wild yelling screaming a lot of folks get that on video his malfeasance being an officer of the law so father Adam is talking to the general about America's Hijack Lifelines and he does so in a very calm polite way I, I'm using this particular technique I know a lot of folks know how to do it and yes I had a Muslim guy three weeks ago lay in wait at the shell station as I went across the street to get food I also get pills over there and laid in wait to harass a Christian in a wheelchair as I came back over in front of Solari Enterprises, a Muslim company that's been part of harassing a Christian in a wheelchair for the uh, past two years, three months. And when the general was screaming good and loud, he asked him, Is this how uninformed you were, General, when we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Husseins with 9 11? He didn't know anything about the hijacked lifelines and easily documented stuff, and he really should in his business. 
Is this how an uninformed you were, General, when they placed the Cavalry Hussein or why it has right we got to take by a whole lot of Cavalry Hussein? He gets a nice uh, video for the uh, parishioners. So Ralph calls up Adam and uh, Leroy. They're members of the California law enforcement. County, city, state. And he says, I'm getting a whole lot of calls from the NRA about our active participation in America's hijack lifelines as a threat to our security as a nation and as families. They know we're hijacking their calls to Milton, and they want to know why they you are being so American as un-American as California law enforcement and trying to take the civil liberties out of the hand. Of the rest of America. Light up those switchboards and you got a nice place to live other than California here with the Cowardly Hussein placing. Yeah, come see me. Have wit, we'll travel. A couple of hunters are back from hunting and they see some Mormon cult perverts case in the neighborhood in their city when the only ones home are the kids after school so they pick up truck them they park in front and behind that great car and they wait there until you know the Mormon cult perverts get back to the car and they ask him why are you doing that? And they say, why are you praying to the 9-11 Muslim devil down below? And then they, uh, yeah, they wait for the folks in the neighborhood to get home so that they can ask him why they are casing their neighborhoods when they're only ones home with the kids after school. Michael Moore has been bit slapped this Saturday night by the Mormon cult and their Muslim brothers with Solari Enterprises on American soul who knows what else they're up to and he runs into Mayor Garcetti's office and he says you tell me the truth have you been getting kickbacks from the Saudi royal family to look the other way with Solari Enterprises active harassment of Christians in Los Angeles, an active part in America's hijack lifeline. And uh, the mayor, Garcetti, says, Oh, hell yeah. I was trying to hide it from you, but yeah, here's the numbers. You can get some kickbacks too. And Michael Moore says, Great. I'm tired of being bit slapped by those praying to the 9 11 devil down below. Galif is a Muslim. And he's calling up California's cops to complain, as well as YouTube, to complain about them harassing a Christian in a wheelchair who's telling the truth about them and their active part in America's high tech life funds. He doesn't like that, so he's calling them up and asking them why they are part of harassing a Christian in a wheelchair, why they are part of uh, this image being designed. Mormon Muslim cult. See the uh, PC folks that would be offended by something like that. I don't hear them on the phone. I don't see them knocking on the door because they're active and it's all one big show. The truth of the matter is you can't reach me by phone. It's America's lifelines being hijacked by Khalif and those uh, YouTube folks as well as the top cops. Get it on video. And yeah, make that video of your call to me in front of all those folks on that list. A Jennifer was in a bad car wreck and her child was burned in that car wreck. And she's been in the hospital nonstop with her kid. And a nurse, uh, Nurse Agnes, sees her there and she asks, Did you think it took forever for that AT&T phone in your hand there? to work and she says yeah as a matter of fact I did 
Is it one of your imagination, it wasn't just a bad reception? You try to call Melton, 424-229-4140. Make that video, post that video, whatever you get when you don't get him. And here's a whole lot of other numbers of AT&T's employees, of the Mormon cult folks, of the Muslim cult folks in America here and overseas. And uh, military generals, call them up, ask, when else will your phone not be allowed to work? Time, date, my number dub. Save it for the Senate subcommittee, the video. County cops, uh, state troopers with uh, California and Utah, as well as other cops there, other cowards hiding behind the bats, has gotten yet another call from New York cops, New York firefighters, other good American uh, firefighters, cops, and just plain Americans all across America asking them, why is your hatred of our country and truth so much that as a coward behind a badge, you are an active part in America's hijack lifelines? And uh, Lanny just had enough of that. He gets down on those hands and knees and puts that head to the floor. I can't find it quick enough. But yeah, he's play it, praying to that 9-11 Muslim devil down below. Get him on video doing that. Just ask him about me not getting a flight 93 ticket for over a decade. Let that video camera roll as they rage. So Trump is having another photo op. And as always, they hold up a big image. Take your favorite. I've got a decade's worth of pointing out America's hijack lifelines as they place cowardly Hussein and now a Trump to harass a Christian in a wheelchair in our White House. They hold up the posters. I've got 3,000 graphic art photos you can hand out. Pick you one. Oh, that's a, not a 93 check one, but... Yeah. Ask them why they're praying to the 9-11 Muslim devil down below. And yes, why are you placing the cowardly Hussein in our White House? Uh, uh, oh, why are you in our White House and not doing your job? with those who placed Carolee Hussein in our White House and with those who are dangerous, threats to our security, hijacking our lifelines. Not the best video, but you get the point. Call Trump up, hold up uh, this sign right here, and tell him when else will my phone not be allowed to work. You're impeached. So a new member of the Saudi royal family is outside of the embassy there. And the cop uh, introduces him to the Mormon cult folks who were in bed with him. At least the ones in uh, Los Angeles. And they seem to be kind of uh, seizing because they've been in the way of Jesus as a Immaculate House and uh, it's the consequences. And the guy says, the bed sheet guy says, what's wrong with them? And the cop says, oh, they got a hold of some bad Kool-Aid. Make that video if you had that call to me. Post. The men uh, never, it's the way they do it. I'm not sure. It, it, he is, uh, oh, right after Enrique Vergara got a, a promotion for harassing a Christian in a wheelchair, the very hairy guy who's now a, yeah, more than a manager. I don't know what he is, but, uh, yeah, the, the Niamamud who uh, told me to, yeah, just keep calling the, the police. You don't have to uh, have your name. You can do it anonymously. Uh, I was doing that. I, that didn't have an effect. Solari Enterprises is not doing their job to uh, protect the tenants. Because a man was, I mean, he went from, in, within the course of a minute, he literally went from being cordial, oh, I'm glad I bumped into you, to cussing and screaming and profanity and 
I want to know why Solari Enterprises Teresa, the regional manager, I kept it active. Call from Melton Hands and Bald Guy. I want to know why. I would like to know why Teresa, whoever her name, regional manager for Solari Enterprises, is being antagonistic. She's got a lot of Muslim folks, including the man with a beard, yelling and screaming at me and. Yeah, right after uh, Benia Mahmood moved in, I called her up to complain. It was raining, and the man, I don't know if it was his son or not, but they used the same kind of tactics. Ran up and was literally beaten on the door, called me a crippled fuck, and threatening to come up in the middle of the night and beat on the door with the next complaint he got out of me. No, his complaint he got out of me. He's speaking in the form of management. So it's an ongoing thing that Enrique Vergara has been actively involved in, and I'd like uh, all of America to call him up, Solari Enterprises up. How do you reach that man by phone? When else will your phone not be allowed to work because of what he is active in, what Shauna is active in? If the man's unstable, you need to do something about that. That's unreal. Yeah, I'm making a video of my phone update and a video of very hateful Muslim harassing and threatening a man in a wheelchair. It's more than our AT&T livelihood. It is, yes, the cowardly Hussein placing. Right after we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Husseins. Get it on video. Call up Teresa, regional manager of Solari Enterprise, and ask her, what are you doing? Why are you hating this man in a wheelchair? How many other harassment projects do you have at Solari Enterprises? Get them all on video and call them again. Oh, yeah. Get them on speakerphone. Get them when they're going to their office from their cars, coming back after work. Why are you harassing a Christian in a wheelchair? When else, why have you inspired uh, the Mormon, Muslim, Chinese, AT&T watch callers, now the YouTube watch callers? Why have you inspired that image from a man who, uh, I'm the nicest guy you're going to meet? Why have you been a part of that? Shauna, Teresa, regional manager, and so and all Solari Enterprises employees, including Enrique Vergara. Why is your hate so much? When will your hate be affecting my child's life on you speaking to them? And you demonstrate that phone not working and their active part in that. 424-229-4140. There is uh, the address. Certify mail to me and ask Larry. What are you an active part in it? When else, when? Our phones not be allowed to work. Now I hope to get back to designing. It's the image will make a contact. I don't have time to turn it into a saint because of the hatred. It drives them crazy. The uh, the beauty, the truth. Your phone not working and me pointing that out. Four two four two two nine four one four zero. Every time I design a saint's image, the hate from the apartment down below and from Solari Enterprises is overwhelming. Can somebody please? Get them on video, being active in America's hijacked lifelines and hateful of a Christian in a wheelchair. Why are you praying to the 9-11 devil down below? Oh, I had that image long before it came here to Solari Enterprises from Skip Row, because my lifeline's being hijacked. My, my AT&T livelihood is affected. So is yours. Whatever born thing you get, this image was inspired by Solari Enterprises as well with their Muslim hatred of Christians. When else will our phones not be allowed to work? Why is Solari Enterprises harassing Christians? Get them on video again and again until you can get the hatred out from below me and out from the management of Solari Enterprises. They're getting paid a whole lot of money by... Uh, HACPA, for one, they have 20 at least regulatory agencies that 
are involved in protecting a lot of folks. Why aren't they finding out why Solari Enterprises hates Christians and why they're an active part in harassing me? Get them on video. Post again and again. Your phone not working. And Solari Enterprises, Muslims are an active part in that. Why do you hate Christians so much? Do you know the folks who place that cowardly Hussein in a White House right after we got taken by a whole lot of cowardly Husseins? Why isn't my phone working, Enrique, Shauna, Teresa? Get them on video again and again. Post. Oh, at and silent today. You can barely hear that. Find out what is your part in America's Isaac Lifelines. Are you planning something new, Solari? Is that why you have to be a part of hijacking America's Lifelines? Post, whatever they tell you.